Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. In this video, I am propagating my philodendron lichens. Now, I've had this plant for probably about three years and it has grown quite long and some of the vines have lost foliage so I just want to give it a, a prune to hopefully promote some new growth but in turn I get to make a whole other plant. So I thought you guys would be interested in, in seeing that so that's what I'm doing here today. I have my pruners that I love from Fiskars and I'm going ahead and taking off several vines. And the method I use to propagate is pretty easy. Um, I mean, it's it's not as easy as water propagation, which is my favorite. But because of this type of vining plant, I like to propagate it a different way. So here we are. I've got my pot full of soil. Now this pot had is a hanging basket. It came with something else in it that has sadly passed away so I sterilized it and I'm using it for another purpose. So here are the ties that I use. These I actually got from Amazon. They are twist ties kind of like for a like you would tie a bag of bread with. And I can link them um, the Amazon link in the description for anyone who wants to buy this. I use this in the garden as well um, as, you know, for staking and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, it's multifunctional. It's a little rusty because it, you know, got rained on outside a few times. It's just, <sighs> it happened. <laughs> so here I'm showing you how I make the pins. I am going to be wrapping the vines in the pot and pinning them down to the soil. So I'll be making little pins just like that and then I will be pinning the node down onto the soil surface. Um, this soil I have already pre-moistened it and here you can see where the nodes are. That is where the new roots will, will grow um, when you're pruning you want to cut either below or above that so now it's time to wrap the vines around the pot and pin them down at the node if you need to pin in between the nodes do that You'll see me do that here soon because the way that this vine was growing, it's kind of twisty and it's not super easy to keep it down on the soil. So here you can see kind of my handiwork. It kind of looks like stitches, but this is basically what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your vines, wrap them around, moving inward and pinning the nodes down to the soil.
so it's not a big deal if you cross vines just make sure that the nodes can touch soil that way that the soil and the moisture from the soil will help those nodes wake up and start producing roots I also try to make sure that my none of my foliage gets pinned down at all I want to make sure that it's sticking up and it's able to receive light so that it can help with the rooting process and it can help make energy for the plants so you just want to make sure that everything looks perfect no zone soil foliage up so as far as watering this hanging basket you can water it from the bottom if you want or you can water overhead um, if you water overhead just make sure you're using gentle pressure because you don't want to disturb the pins and move anything out of place or you will have to repin it and you might find that the pins move up that's okay just push them back down into the soil I promise you it will root I have another plant that I did the same way last year and it is rooted and it is you know growing all over the place so yeah it does work you can do this Just look how beautiful this mycon is, you guys. I mean, just the color, the sun showing through the back of the foliage, just making all of those pretty, pretty colors. You see the chartreuse, you see maroon, you see browns and greens. Like, it's just such a pretty plant. And I'm not surprised that it's super hard to find right now in some areas. It's gorgeous. If you see it, get you one. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, please leave me a comment. I'm happy to help. Hope you guys had a great holiday and Happy New Year! Bye!